Hey, Matt 31, I had a question coming out of section 4.1, number 29, and here we were asked to find a linear equation, and we were given this set of information right here, and that is basically two ordered pairs. So if I look at it, I have two ordered pairs. I have negative 5, negative 4, oops, and then I have 5, 2. So the first thing I want to do, if you have two points, you want to find the slope between them. So you see me here using the slope formula, change in y over change in x, I simplify that fraction. So ultimately my slope is 3 fifths. And then it's a matter of once you have a slope and once you have a point, you use the point slope form of the line. And when I say point slope form, oops, here we go. That's this one right here at y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And you do it because quite literally you have a point, actually you have two of them, and you have a slope. Now, when it comes to these two points that are here, you can use either one in this point slope formula. I'm going to opt to use the one with a positive um, x and y coordinate. You could just as easily have used this one. I just prefer the ones with the positive x coordinates if I've got to choose. So as we start to look at this, right, I'm going to color code this a little better. So I'm going to take my slope here, right, and you see me plugging it in for three-fifths, right? And then I take my y coordinate here and I plug it in for y sub 1. And then finally, I take my x coordinate of 5 and I plug it in for x sub 1. And then it's a matter of me distributing that 3 fifths, solving for y, and then remembering at the end, now that we're past section 3.1, we want to use function notation. So that is my solution for number 29. All right, thanks so much. Bye.